Hey y'all, Irick Sky here, and I want to talk about Sonos computer speakers. And you're probably saying, well, man, I, I didn't know that Sonos made computer speakers. I'm going to explain it within this video step by step. So I use Sonos for all my TVs. I've got the Sonos Arc and the Sonos Beam and uh, Sonos Subs. And it's just a great audio clarity. It's, it's hard to beat. So when I use that for my TVs and then I sit down at my computer and I have underwhelming audio, obviously at that point, I want Sonos computer speakers. So you can see right here behind me, here's the right one and there's the left one. So you can find these Sonos speakers linked within this video's description. These are Sonos Era 100. And I want to talk about how I'm using it. I'm using my, right here I've got my MacBook Air, Apple Silicon MacBook Air. These speakers, you can use AirPlay from an iPhone, iPad, Mac computer, whatever, but keep in mind, if you choose to use AirPlay, there will be noticeable delay. You know, depending upon your use case, AirPlay may be fine. The value add of these speakers these Aero 100 speakers is that they have integrated Bluetooth. And not only is it Bluetooth, but it's Bluetooth 5.0, Bluetooth 5.0. And I've heard rumors that with a future firmware update, it may even become a, possibly become an even more current Bluetooth standard. But again, that's just speculation. But the Bluetooth 5.0, so the way I do it, I paired my first Sonos Aero 100 using Bluetooth to my Mac computer. Then after I paired it using Bluetooth, then I connected my second Sonos Aero 100, and then I created within the Sonos app, and it is worth mentioning, these have to be connected to your Wi-Fi. But within the Sonos app, I then created a stereo pair, and after creating the stereo pair, and this, this surprised me, the right speaker and the left speaker in the stereo pair, both function, but guess what? They function using Bluetooth. So using that original Bluetooth connection that I established to my right Sonos Era speaker, when I connected the second, the left channel Sonos speaker, and then paired it as a stereo pair within the Sonos app, now with my Bluetooth connection that remained, not only do I get the right channel, but I get the left channel and that's all Bluetooth. So optionally, you can connect, you've got to buy the Sonos branded adapter and I've linked it within this video's description. Opti option, optionally rather, you can choose to connect a 3.5 millimeter audio cable using the Sonos connector that you've got to purchase for that. But if you do that, you could have a physical audio cable running from the back of one of your two Sonos speakers into your in my case, Mac laptops, headphone jack. Now, <clears throat> my thoughts are, because this Bluetooth 5.0 is so good, and you can see right here, I'm in Final Cut Pro 10. one of the complaints has been, oh man, there's extreme audio delay. So with that being said, and with one of my primary ventures being this channel, Iron Skies Adventure Channel, where you're watching this video, one of my primary ventures being editing videos, it's safe to say I spend a tremendous amount of time within Final Cut Pro 10. So using these speakers, especially when I'm doing a face on video segment, if there is a delay, which I'm sure technically there is, what is it, 20, possibly 20 milliseconds or something, there's, maybe you can spot it. You know, maybe you're a more professional video editor than I am and you can see that audio delay. But from my experience, whether I'm using my Bluetooth headset or these the stereo pair of Sonos Air 100 speakers, I don't notice an audio delay. But I'm sure it's there on paper. I'm sure there is an audio delay there. But whether I'm editing in Final Cut Pro 10, whether I pull up a streaming app like Paramount Plus or Amazon Prime Video, Whatever I'm doing, everything is completely watchable and I'm not noticing that delay. I think the point of confusion 
a lot of people assume that if you're pairing the Sonos Aero 100s with a computer, that you've got to use AirPlay. And that's a false assumption because if you did use AirPlay, and you could go into your system preferences on your Mac and you could, you could choose AirPlay, but there is going to be a severe audio lag if you use AirPlay. Now, for streaming music, that sort of stuff, where the audio, you're not watching lips in sync with the audio, AirPlay would be perfectly fine in that use case. But for editing videos, for performing basic desktop computer tasks, where that audio sync is, is, uh, is important, Bluetooth 5.0, which works great for me, or use the optional line-in Sonos cable. And again, I've linked both the speakers and that cable within this video's description. I actually have the line-in cable coming just so I can film a comparison between a stereo pair of Sonos Aero 100 speakers using Bluetooth 5 like I'm using now or the Sonos line-in adapter. So I'm gonna see if I can discern any sort of visual difference between the video and audio sync using what I'm using now, Bluetooth 5.0, or the Sonos line-in adapter. So that'll be an interesting test. I'm excited about it, but I will probably continue to use Bluetooth 5 because it works great. And there's not another cable draped across my desk. You know, keep it clean. So these, these are incredibly great. Depending upon your personal preference, you may want to add a Sonos Sub Mini, and you could pair that with a stereo pair to complete the setup if you wanted that extra bass. But these two speakers with the integrated woofer, it's more than enough bass for me. But that is something you could do. You could grow this to include a Sub Mini. I think it may also work with the larger Sonos Sub the one like I've got with my two uh, TVs. But the audio quality, clarity, bass, everything, with just one of these is great. But when you create the stereo pair like I did, it makes the optimal setup for Sonos computer speakers in my opinion. These are not marketed as computer speakers. These are high quality, high end Sonos speakers. If you've ever used Sonos, you know the audio quality is at a next level. So there's a lot of options that one could consider for Bluetooth computer speakers that are probably going to produce inferior, or I should say radically inferior audio quality. So to be able to get the Sonos audio quality using Bluetooth or line in, and I think one of the things with the line in is that you can adjust the audio delay, you can't, to my knowledge, adjust the audio delay with Bluetooth 5.0, but if you're connected using the line in, I think you can adjust it. But again, I don't have a need to monkey with the audio delay using Bluetooth 5.0 because it's, in my, in my opinion, it's in sync. And with any speakers, at times, Final Cut Pro 10, for example, can get out of sync, and in that situation, what you would do is just restart Final Cut Pro 10. But it's great for me. I mean, I'm looking at videos that I'm editing, like this one right now that I'm filming. When I see myself speaking, I go into Final Cut Pro 10 and edit it, and it's completely usable. So, yes, on paper, there is a, an audio delay. I don't want to misrepresent Sonos Aero 100s. On paper, there is an audio delay. But I encourage you to try it, see it and hear it with your own ears, with your own eyes, and you know, tell me what you think. I mean, you, you, maybe your superhuman abilities are not as old as I am. I got a head full of gray hair. Maybe you've got better hearing than I do. So who knows? But this is awesome. It's the best set of computer speakers that I've ever used. And like I said, these are not marketed as computer speakers. And that's the other beauty of this is that you can use them with your computer, but now you've got a stereo pair that you could use with an iPhone, an iPad, whatever you know, stream, stream audio to it. I mean, you can't beat that. And you can add the sub if you want to add more bass. It's just an excellent, uh, it's an, it's an excellent, excellent setup rather. So the other thing I failed to mention, like most all Sonos speakers, it has, what's it called? True Tune, I think is the name they use. You walk around your room, this room has extreme room echo. And I'm using a uh, lavalier, uh, not lavalier, but just a wireless mic. 
So you may not be hearing the room echo as bad as it is, but since these utilize that Sonos technology to walk around with your iPhone and basically it intelligently lets the speakers optimize themselves for your space, it makes it sound even better. So it's a no brainer, especially if you've got a, a challenging acoustics like I do in this room with room echo. So excellent computer speakers. It goes without saying Sonos audio quality. You can hear subtle sounds that often other speakers won't pick up. So it's exceptionally great in my opinion for video editing and also proofing the videos after I've edited them because it provides an optimal audio experience so that I know whether someone is watching my video from a smartphone or they're watching my video from a very high end sound system that the videos that I create have exceptionally good audio. I'm not an audio engineer. I know some of my audio is, is junk, but at least this way I can proof my video productions using the, what I feel is the best speaker brand on the market. Yeah, there's speakers that are more expensive, but I feel this is the best speaker brand on the market because I've got them on my TVs, I've got them on my computer, and you can pair all of them together. I mean, they're paired using your, your home Wi-Fi, so you could stream to all of your Sonos speaker sets and all of your rooms if you wanted to. So it's a really nice setup. But I wanted to post this video because I couldn't find, when I was searching for Sonos computer speakers, I couldn't find any Sonos computer speakers. So that's why I did this, and it works. Not only does it work, it works exceptionally well. Again, I'm using Bluetooth 5.0 at the time of filming this, but when I get my line in adapter, I will, uh, I'll do that and just kind of compare and see if I notice a difference. And granted, I'll probably just go back to Bluetooth 5.0 because it's perfect setup. Actually, I ordered the line in adapter because I didn't expect, from what I'd found online, I didn't expect the stereo pair to function if I was paired to my laptop using Bluetooth 5.0, but it does. So, I mean, that's, that's a, that was a very pleasant discovery. So, very, uh, very good sounding, very good sounding audio. And if you're like me and you do a lot of video editing, you know how important not only video is, but also audio. So, couldn't be happier. It's, uh, it's, it's a, I mean, it just, it works. So, I hope this video helped. If it did, please consider shopping my links. You can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order the Sonos speakers like I'm using. They come in two different colors at the time I'm filming this, black or white. I got the white ones. And then also the optional line-in adapter if you want to use line-in to connect to your Sonos speakers. And one of these speakers, by the way, as I mentioned, one speaker is perfectly good. It'll fill the room. But two of these for using them with a computer is optimal because you've got right channel and left channel and setting that up was super simple because it would play a sound and say, is this the right or the left speaker? So you would tell it. So everything's, you know, like every other Sonos speaker I've used, the setup process is straightforward. So got questions, comment below and I'll try to film a follow-up video to address those questions. But I wanted to film this. I know there's a ton of Sonos Era 100 review videos, but I have not found this video, so that's why I created it. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please be sure to subscribe to my channel, and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership, and y'all have a good day.